WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. we got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix is coming from the transports, which are up 91 points. Otherwise, all of the other U.S. indices trading to the downside. You've got the Dow off 170 points, about a half a percent, three-tenths for the S&P, 12 points, half a percent for the NASDAQ, 165, and a half a percent for the Russell. That's eight points to the downside. Semis are down five points. That's a little less than two percent, two-tenths of a percent to the downside, that is. Gold's off 43 bucks. That's two percent to the downside. We'll take a look at that the next hour or so should be pretty important. We take a look at the intraday charts, which we will definitely do. Silver's off 54 cents. Light three crude is up 15 pennies. Natural gas is flat. And the 30 treasury down about one point, trading out at 130.29. Let's try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. Still maintains its sell the D point pattern. That remains in effect unless we see a close above 41. Well, actually, it's going to be... 41.77.75. If price were to close above that, it'll negate that signal and tell us about a further move higher. That further move higher, the price target would become 42.35. Spot volatility is still trading well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is a bullish signal for the S&P 500. The NQ remains above the top of its daily profile. It's got an A to B equal CD to the upside. Price target is 13.996. U.S. dollar index, where it did negated by the D point pattern yesterday. Well, another bullish reversal candle today would confirm another by the D point pattern. What price would need to do here is get back above 101.25 to tell us how serious that that uh, next by the D point pattern could be. If we take a look at Goldilocks, that what this doesn't show is Rhodes Mintum indicator top. If we get a bearish reversal candle today, that's what we will have. And that would suggest move back to the 1974 area. Silver out here. Um, the problem with silver is I can't really draw in an A to B equals CD pattern. And we negated the TD9 count. So I'm not sure that there's any pattern out here with regard to silver. Lights we crude, it did negate its TD9 count top a few days ago, but it's dealing with resistance up at the 84.20 level. That is where the weekly sellers reside. If we take a look at natural gas trading in a sideways consolidation, it maintains its Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom or by the deep point. I can't remember which one it was doesn't matter either way those patterns or either pattern will retain itself as long as price close up a dollar 99 folks stay tuned for the trader said show but if you're off to start your friday have a fantastic one thanks for joining us have a safe weekend we'll look forward to speaking with you again on monday take care